Hello uh, and uh, good afternoon. Um, I'm uh, just going. I'm going to do a little video. I was uh, exchanging messages with somebody the other day about um, about English pipes because they had a collection which didn't have any in, <coughs> and I thought uh, <coughs> that uh, that was a shame. And they replied to me, uh, "Well, they're thinking about getting a Dunhill." And I said, well, that's very nice. I, I personally wouldn't want a Dunhill for various reasons, not, none of which I'm going to <laughs> give here. Um, I, um, well, I wanted to show you, I've got four top quality, well, yeah, I think they're top quality anyway, um, handmade English pipes. Uh, and um, I... I'm going to show them to you and uh, tell you a little bit about the history of each of them uh, and um, hopefully that will encourage particularly English pipe smokers I mean you know I, I do you know the continental makers the Danish in particular do make some smashing uh, smashing pipes but uh, I think we should support in some respects uh, support our own industry and our own makers uh, you know, within reason, because <laughs> some of them are very expensive. Um, yeah, now I'll start with my cheapest one, which uh, I've got brand new, which is this one, which is a um, it's a panel billiard with a tapered stem, and it's made by a guy called Mike, uh, um, at Blake, Mayer, Blake Marm Briars, which is in a place called Litchborough. Now, that's a handmade pipe. In fact, I emailed the guy, and he uh, basically said to me, uh, "What colour would you like?" Was it? And he literally made it over the weekend, and I got it by uh, um, I got it by Tuesday. Of that week, and so it was really nice, really special, and it only cost um, thirty-five pounds. Um, now, if you like a traditional pipe, a traditional shape, you know, he makes a lovely range. He does, um, he does the Lichbrier, which is a, uh, you know, a, a, the top grain, sort of his top standard, which are about 40, I think they're about 42 pounds. Uh, he's on the net, so if you put Blake Mar Briars into a uh, search engine, you'll, you'll find him. And he also does some straight grains, and um, uh, which are quite affordable. And I think the most I've seen, you know, it, you know, sort of 100, 120 pounds for some of these straight grains. But he had some specials, and uh, he was doing recently. But as I say, there's a lovely range of very traditional shapes, and uh, so they're handmade uh, in uh, in England in Lichborough, and. Uh, and worth a look at his, at his site. I think if you wanted a handmade pipe made by a craftsman, it's a very affordable way to have one. Um, the other three are all made that I have are all made by um, Barry Jones at James Upshaws. And uh, one I'm smoking. Um, now, I don't know, really recently I bought a. Uh, an umpool shaped pipe from America which I really liked and I liked it so much <laughs> that I um, saw this one on uh, at Upshaws and bought it and it's a free hand as you can see there's on the st uh, stem there's a little James Upshaw logo it's a sitter so that means it uh, you put it on the table no hands it'll sit there so it's nice when you go out for a pint uh, you can stick it on the table and not have to worry about putting it in some grotty ashtray. Um, the other two I have is this one. This is a lovely, elegant, uh, somebody described it to me, looking pipe. Again, it's a James Up, so it's a free hand. Um, it's, uh, it's a very large pipe. I have to say. <laughs> You could be smoking that for three hours quite easily. It uh, takes in a. I've still got a bit of the cold, hence the hat, by the way. I've still got a bit of this uh, cold I had last week. Um, 
Yeah, it's, you can smoke it for about three hours, but it's a uh, it's a nice, uh, it's a lovely pipe. It's so light, unbelievably light. Um, I've got smaller pipes which don't sit so comfortably in the mouth because they're heavy. That thing's as light as a feather. There you go, to show it to you again. And all the way around, I don't think my camera is really good enough to show you, but uh, all the way around that bowl is straight grain. It's uh, it's a lovely, lovely pipe. Um, finally, is this one. I was smoking the other night, I think. It's a, a chimney, so it's got quite a tall bowl. It's a uh, saddle stem, uh, rusticated. Um, now, upshaws, they um, have what called tills head, which are like their seconds, so not quite good enough the grain to be an upshaw. Now, the two, the umpaul and the strange freehand, I think. Uh, I call it the shillelagh because A because of its size, but B because it is kind of shaped a little like a shillelagh, <laughs> which uh, for those of you who don't know is a, uh, a Celtic weapon. Uh, you'd uh, have the branch and then cut the tree out and use it like a hammer. <laughs> which, you know, if you do it, were at the pub smoking that and got in a bit of trouble, I'm sure a good shot smack to the top of the head with that would probably, you know, you're a failing would probably think twice. Um, no, I've lost my place now. Um, yeah, so this is a... Uh, they're, they're Tills heads, so they're not quite the top quality. This one is not. This one was completely made by Barry Jones. Um, yeah, it's a really lovely... Uh, the nameplate at the back, I don't know whether you can see that. That's all straight grain, perfectly straight along the nameplate and on the top of the bowl where it's not rusticated. Now, If you were to uh, if you were to buy those in a shop, um, you'd spend quite a lot of money. I think uh, several hundred pounds. However, I didn't. I got them on eBay, and uh, and I think if you want to build a little collection, I, I, I have. A, I'm a man of modest means, and um, you know. Uh, in the current situation, one's priorities are surely not to be on uh, buying, spending hundreds and hundreds of pounds on pipes. However, if one wants to build a little modest collection, and I'd quite like to have a few uh, classics from English makers, uh, charity before they were bought out by um, I think Longs is in America, and uh, I've uh, just ordered an Astley's, which is uh, made by charity in 1960. Uh, so. You, even before I was born, and um, it uh, anyway, I won't tell you too much about it because I'll show it to you if I win the uh, the auction. But uh, it's quite enough. Uh, Ashley's had a little shop in um, in London in Jermaine Street, which uh, um, serviced the royal family and other. Not that I'm a particularly a monarchist, but uh, serviced uh, the elite of this country with their pipes and Dunhills and Charitons and others, Astons and Ashtons and others made pipes for Astleys. Uh, and so fingers crossed and touch wood I might uh, win that one. But um but uh, yeah so there we go, there's a few little English pipes. I hope uh, that's inspired people to perhaps look out some even I would highly recommend going to Mike at Blake Mar Briars and buying a pipe because you know you're not spending an awful lot of money. But to be honest with you, that pipe cost me I think it was 35 feet. I can't remember what it was exactly. It was about 35 quid, and uh, I spent more than that on this dreadful pipe uh, by Dr. Plum. It was a uh, really awful. The the bowl was full full of fill. The uh, metal work on it was really tacky. It looked okay. Uh, you know, this is a problem, of course, buying over the internet. You can't really get hold of the damn thing and see if you like it. But uh, but uh, anyway, check them out. Um, farewell and uh, speak to you all soon.